Hi friends, how are you all? If you have not subscribed to this channel, be sure to do so. Clicking on the bell icon next to it, will give you a notification. When we upload a video into the channel you will know it. Please share it with your friends and all those whose lives you want to shine. Now let's get into the story. When a prisoner was sentenced to death in a country, some scientists wanted to do some experiments on this prisoner. Instead of being hanged, the prisoner was threatened that, a poisonous cobra would attack you and kill you. A large venomous snake was brought before him, and they closed the prisoner's eyes, blindfolded him, and tied him with ropes. He was not bitten by a snake, but stabbed with two safety pins, and the prisoner died within seconds. Post-mortem revealed that the prisoner had venom similar to snake venom in his body. Now where did this poison came from, or what caused the death of the prisoner? That poison is a poison produced by his own body due to the stress of mental disorders. Death was caused by the stress of mental panic state. All feelings and emotions are just chemical enzyme releases or electric stimulus. Our body produces energy depending on the positive or negative reactions caused by every decision we make. Accordingly, our body produces hormones. 90% of illnesses are caused by negative thoughts. Today man is destroying himself with the stress created by his own negative thoughts. Friends, suppose we wake up late in the morning. There are many things to do that day. We will get ready in a hurried fashion and leave for the office. We look at the time once a minute. Meanwhile there is a traffic jam on the way. Going to the office late. The boss yells angrily at us. There will be so many pending works on the desk, after completing some of them, we leave in the evening. Again, all the traffic we have to get through. When we get home, the children get upset about something. We shout at them. In the evening we regret why we did that. Feeling regret, that night we won't sleep. It seems to us that we see all these events often. What we experienced psychologically throughout the day is can be called as mental stress. There is no problem if there is a limit to the desires that man have and if there are opportunities to fulfill them. But there are no boundaries to man's needs, hopes and ideals. A new feature of modern civilization, drastic change. With this rapid change in science, technology and civilization, are causing man many problems in his life. The primary cause of our ill health used to be AIDS or cancer or some other disease. But now in this modern age mental stress is dominating. Stress is the cause of many mental and physical illnesses. Various problems that we face in daily life, such as lack of employment, various problems that we may face as employee, daily events that we have to face in our professions and in our businesses, worries in life, financial problems, illness, any sudden dangerous events, problems in relationships, attempts to achieve the goals, failures that we encounter in trying to achieve the goal, these are just some of the major causes of stress in life. But in real life, it is impossible for us to make progress without the stress. Certain amount of stress is most necessary for a person to achieve any growth in life and to expand beyond our normal abilities. We can find stress in every aspect of this creation. We also need some compulsive force to survive in this ever-expanding universe. Without stress, plants would not be able to absorb water from the earth with their roots. 
It would be possible for us to walk on the ground only because of the stress exerted by ground on our feet. Mother Nature creates stress to push us to the next level, so proper stress is always necessary. But the curse of modern society today is enormous mental stress. Stress is a factor in life, but it is making the life of many people bitter. Stress is like friction in a machine. Our joys and sorrows take place within ourselves. We get stressed because we do not know how to manage the pain and pleasures caused by various events through our mind. We are under stress because we cannot manage our own system. Our job or our living conditions are not the cause of the stress we face. It may not be possible to change the events of life as we wish, but we do not need anyone's permission for us to experience it without being stressed out of the situation we are in. A healthy family system will definitely give us strength. The stress within us can be reduced by equipping ourselves with new skills from time to time and staying with our family with the best relationships. We will see in the next episode the harms that may manifest with high stress. Please, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.